What's, What's up, up guys? guys? It's your boy Anthony. And it's your girl Rio. And we're back at it again with, with another video. video. Hey, so we're, we're back, back with another with video. Another video. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So we're back with another video, guys. Let them know what we're reacting to today, baby. So we're actually reacting to um, a video that one of you guys um, requested. And it's actually How to Catch a Predator video basically um by chris hansen so we're just gonna watch this video um but before we start like we always say don't forget to like, like comment, comment and, and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't done so already okay so we're just gonna hop right into the video all right it's saturday night in the connecticut suburbs autumn is in the air and this guy is bringing pizza to the door Jeff Sokol is no pizza delivery man. He looks like a weirdo. Cops say Such he's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Ben, how are you? He brought so pizza. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he pretend to be a pizza delivery guy, or like, did he, uh, yeah. was that part of their plan? Like, okay, you pretend to be a pizza delivery guy. He pretended. I mean, I, I, I mean, well, let's see. Let's I, see. I think it might be was part of their plan. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't from know. Boston to our sting house in Fairfield, Connecticut. What he doesn't know is that we've placed more than a dozen hidden cameras all over the property. Yo. His date with a 13-year-old. First of all, before we get into this, I need some of those hidden cameras to prank you because I feel like you going to peep every camera. So I need a hidden camera to prank him someday. So you got to tell me? We're not going to know it's going to be a hidden camera. <laughs> going to be on national I'm not ready TV. for this. On Sokol's LinkedIn page, he calls himself Master of Puppets, possibly a reference to a famous heavy metal song. He says he graduated from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a degree in management. He worked in the insurance industry as an auditor, but he says he now drives for Lyft, the ride sharing <laughs> service. Uh -huh. We're working with the cooperation of the Fairfield Police and the online watchdog group Tetrid Corps. Tetrid posts pictures of actual 13 year olds on social media. We're hiding their identities. It's not long before Sokol contacts our decoy, we'll call her Bailey, and the chat gets a little raunchy. Are the decoy? Virgin? LOL, yeah, that is personal. No, I was with my boyfriend once. I really want to be intimate with. Yeah. LOL, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I was going to say, like, it takes a lot of courage for. Not courage, but the people that are actually texting them. Cause it's like, yo, like you're texting somebody that really is sick mm -hmm. like this. You gotta keep your composure. Cause like for me, that's true. I can't fake it, bro. I'll be that's tight true. all the way. Cause in all reality, like people's really sitting here yeah. texting these little yeah. girls or these little boys. Yeah, exactly. So like, me being the person that's texting them, nah, bro. Like I'll be like, end up by accident slipping. Like, nah, you sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I would nice. low key like slip up and just honestly. I yeah. could never do this yeah. because if I was to catch this on my kid's mm -hmm. phone, I'm not about to sit here and pretend. No, <clears throat> no, no, no. I'm saying, no, no. If I catch them, well, it don't matter. I would still pretend because I'm going to catch them. them yeah, yeah, yo, I'm catching them. them. I'm catching them. Thought you were asleep? Nah. It's not <laughs> happening. With you. Do you have pretty feet? <laughs> LOL, yeah. I don't have homeless feet. He then turns the conversation very personal, asking questions no adult should ever ask a 13-year-old. piss about plumber? Do you trim your blank? LOL, yeah. Do you think blank size matters? Nope, X was decent. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. So cool nah, he crossed the line. line. He crossed the line. He crossed the line ever since he started texting her. <laughs> he crossed the line way before that. Maybe before he started, he, he, he crossed the line before he started texting her. But, bro, not everybody that sees you knows <laughs> that, yo, you're not, you, you're not packing, bro. And regardless, yeah, my son really crossed the line. You really lost your words. I'm going to just continue. Worried that Bailey might be an undercover cop, so he asks for a custom pick to prove she's real. Take a selfie holding up four fingers below your face, then I would know it's really you. My fear is that it's not you, that it's someone in law enforcement looking to nail someone. <laughs> but you know this, right? Event, you know this, though. sends a creepy reply. I like it. Your hands are cute. Sokol knows the girl is 13. Yeah, my thing is, how does he, like, 
It's like he really knows what's what he's doing, to be honest. Cause what you mean? The fact oh, yeah, that he's like he trying to find out all your police. Let me make sure it's not law enforcement. Yeah, that alone just shows you. He already been through it. He already know this is wrong, and it's like you already know it's wrong, but you still keep doing it. Yeah, my boy, he's sick. He's sick in the head. Like he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Like he really. If he didn't know, what he, let's say, if, like he just, you know how they claim mental illness. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like oh, I was just mentally sick. He knows exactly what he's doing. Obviously, and it's crazy because there's really mm -hmm. people like this. Yeah, every day. Sometimes they can be our neighbors. He says he knows what he's doing. It's crazy. Is illegal. As a 44 year old guy, 44? be talking to 13 year old girls like that. And he knows you know, that. I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate. The only way police would know if we ever got intimate is if someone saw us together or you told the police. Not by me. Blank that. Well, tonight, intimacy is not on the menu. In fact, <clears throat> dinner is delayed. And he's 44? So because he says his pipes sprung a leak. Hello? Hey, he thinks he's calling Bailey to tell her he's late, but he's actually speaking to Lori from Tetrid in our virtual control room. Did your plumber get there yet? It's not. It's late. Finally, his plumbing repaired, Sokol heads down I-95 for Connecticut. He picks up a pizza and asks Bailey about what to wash it down with. You got booze? My mom has some vodka, but no. You got booze? Sokol <laughs> arrives at here. the house. She's 13. Boy, a 19-year-old theater student lets him in the door. He really thought he was trying to finesse. Sorry about that. He's really trying so to So he finesse. tried to be a pizza man so yeah, that the, so the neighbors get, was looking. Saying. Yep, and he's like, let me try to act like I'm the pizza man. So just in case. Just in case the neighbors are looking. So he did that all for the neighbors, not really for her. Not even if her parents, let's say if her parents show up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's all part of the game. This guy really know what he was doing. Yeah, he do. Hey, how are you? Do you find the house okay? No, it's really dark out. Yeah, she already looks mad young, but she don't look like no 13-year-old. Yeah, she don't. Sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you're gonna be a hug? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Nigga, you already know she's... Yeah, okay. Also, Why he look like her teacher? <laughs> he look like a professor or some shit. He really do. He looks like somebody's teacher. Yo... So like, so like the um, the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So I didn't, I didn't know that. She looks like no thirteen year old, bro. Yeah. Well, did you catch that? No. I'm book around. Did I catch what? He talking about some. The smallest pizza is as big as the biggest one. He talking about some this. You didn't catch none of that. You was too busy talking. You didn't catch none. Nah, I was too busy looking at how, like, she don't look 13. Yeah, she don't look 13. I feel like. But, yeah, I didn't catch it. I started hearing him let, talking let about me, Let me go back. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm too focused on, like. So, like, so like the, um, the small pizza is, like, almost as big as the uh, big one. So... I didn't, I didn't know that. Like, like you said small, so I would be like, like a really small one. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, maybe he actually is talking about the real people. Yeah, that's how I was maybe confused. I'm, maybe <laughs> I'm just thinking negative. <laughs> I think you're thinking I'm negative. just thinking negative. Okay. That's so, he right. actually, so she ordered the pizza. Yes. And he went to go pick it up. Yes. Okay. I thought he was he talking about her. something else. That's how I was like, that's how I probably went over my head because I'm like, <laughs> he didn't say anything crazy. It just was like, Maybe it's just me. My bad, guys. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, he getting comfortable. I, I just never done this before. I know. Have I, you? No. Not really. Have you? Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Are you telling me? He did. I mean, I've met girls on my but I... I don't... I, is he looking? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me pause this for a second. Is he like searching around? No, 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 but let me pause this for a second. You know what confuses me? How this guy really, these are people that are like gone. Like, if you think about it, you're in somebody's house with a 13 year old. Mm -hmm. You don't know when their parents are coming back. You don't know who's there. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You really got to really be on some next level mind to mm -hmm. really go there and expect just a 13 year old just to be home alone and. Like, 13 year old home alone? 
No, but I understand if there are kids that stay home alone, but like for me personally, like I mean that's just me, but I feel like one, I would never try to put myself in this position. Well, I would never I would never be in this position. But two, like I'm just trying to I like to try to like think how pe these people think, like try to get into their heads. But it's like, bro, like you really don't know what's waiting for you on the other mm -hmm. side of the door. Like, and you really put yourself, it's getting comfortable. I mean, because you know why he thinks it's okay? Because probably because he's done this plenty of time before and yeah, he's gotten away with it. So mm -hmm. like, how do you get comfortable with this? I think that's what, cause I'm just trying to like, you know, for it to click in my head. Like, how do you get comfortable? Like, yo, you really, I don't know. This makes no sense. <laughs> Why did you let me come? I don't know. If you're so nervous. See, it's a good idea. You seem nice. Why do you think I came? I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not the reason. What's the reason? She paying. Just... That's probably what he's thinking. You know, I've been talking to you. That's how he say he's like, show do you play games right now? I pull up and to check out the situation, you know. Here we are. He really not trying to eat though. Contract? Until we get that out of the way. Jeff Sokol thinks he's going to scarf down some pepperoni pizza with a 13-year-old girl he just met online. But tonight, he apparently has a different kind of topping in mind. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. You just look different than what I didn't look like in the pictures. I don't know, maybe... maybe Wait, I'm is that expecting. really a 13-year-old girl or is that the name? You have dark hair. Pause it. My hair just... Basically, the reason why, like, he's... Because basically, they use actual real pictures of 13-year-olds. Like real young girls, but she's not actually. She's 13. not that girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how I was like when they were showing the. So picture. they don't put the actual thirteen year old in that no. situation. They put somebody that's probably yeah. like eighteen. Yeah. Obviously, this girl. That's what I'm saying. She don't look thirteen. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. So that's how. That's why he's like, you don't look like the picture because the girl in the picture had black hair. Mm -hmm. It lightens up in the summer. And, and no, I'm not saying. I mean, you, you, <laughs> you look don't great. like it. I think you look great. I'm just saying, like, you, you look different yeah, than than, uh, than I thought. Yeah. But, uh, no, 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 no. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> he looks like a weirdo, bro. <laughs> Sokol talks about a marriage contract and even suggests they elope. The only thing that can prevent me from getting arrested is, is if he we serious? got married, LOL. If you were married to me right now, then I wouldn't be breaking the law. He knows what he's doing. What's that? I have no idea. What? No. Hey, who we have tonight? Who's this? <laughs> who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. 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 Kind of <laughs> yeah. Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? Uh, no. I, I don't want to know who I'm you are. See, that has to be like so awkward awkward uncomfortable so he's so caught off guard he don't even know what to think he don't yeah. even know what to say he just yeah. like damn i'm really in the situation right now yep like good he, he deserves did. it yes i want to know a little bit about, more about you first yeah this guy mad comfortable with you can I eat first sure. pause it pause it he's so, really just said, yeah, yeah can i eat first i want to yeah. smack that if he put that piece in his mouth i would have smacked off his mouth he's trying to make it seem like a defense like he's trying to make light of the situation because mm -hmm. you see how he pulled out the water like that he's not he's not scared he don't realize what he's in i'm telling you after two minutes of this he gonna be begging for it i'm telling you i could already he looked once they say he about to get arrested and everything yeah because look the guy came in he was still relaxed still smiling then mm -hmm. he took the water opened it like nothing had like i'm not doing nothing wrong but relaxed and convinced of his innocence yeah it's a slice of pizza <clears throat> Come who you are, because you know. Hey. Number two. 
once this guy goes to prison, they need to show this to all the all the inmates. Because I heard in prison, the one thing they don't like is one of those things like if you do something to a child, like they don't like the child molesters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they don't like they really don't like the child molesters. So people in prison, they need to see this and get this guy in there because this guy. He's disgusting. Well, what did you expect to happen? That was my daughter. Clip. Didn't have any expectations. No expectations whatsoever. No. I'm gonna violate it. So you drove two and a half hours? I sure did. From Boston. What? Why he not rocking him? <laughs> two and, to come here. Two and a half hours? Why he not rocking him, bro? I would have rocked him a long time. There's no like. I don't care if I'm the host of the TV show. Big this two and a half. He this guy drove two and a half hours. Yeah, he's sick. I don't care. They're like he got mental issues. Okay, well he need to be in prison with these mental issues and get rocked. Like he need to get he need to get beat up. <laughs> like where to? Are you her dad? To me, younger. Are you her dad? Are you, are you her dad? Yo, this guy. Yo, this guy really needs to get. Yo, I promise you. If this was a real life encounter, babe, I would have let's, let's him. play in this video. Are you her dad? And he got a peach in his hand. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I would have smacked that peach out of his hand. I'm telling you, smack, babe. I'm not smacking only the peach. I'm smacking him. <laughs> <laughs> like what? He really like he's taking this like a piece of cake. Like it's nothing. Yeah, and look at him. Yeah. Like, are you her dad, bro? Do you? Nah, bro. <clears throat> he really gonna eat the pizza? So I just know that pizza look good though. Napkin. Nah, that pizza look good. Wrong. Look mad cheesy. <laughs> coming to meet somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against coming what? to meet a young girl? Yeah, it's against a lot. A thirteen-year-old. It is after this cat. How? Oh. Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds Please. familiar while you enjoy your pizza. And he was talking about getting married. I should come see you on Saturday. First of all, does I want what I want to know is does he do this with all the other young girls? All I know does he is, tell them, oh yeah, if we get married, or like is she the only one? If they don't arrest it, all I know is I don't care about nothing you saying right now, dude. Babe. <laughs> if they don't arrest him, I'm never watching the show again. They have to arrest him. <clears throat> no, like this, they need to keep this guy off the streets. If they let him go or walk, yeah, not as dumb. Yeah, because he know he's doing. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. <laughs> Yo. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yeah. So you really? Here you, you are. <clears throat> blank. Okay. Now you know that this girl is 13, right? Well, I'm sure. She's told you. How old are you? You might as well just tell me. No, you can't say you're 17. And find out like that. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are first? Why does it matter? <clears throat> I will tell you that for now. Because, you know, now you're you're becoming nervous and... You're 44 years old. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm making you nervous? I'm <laughs> talking to 13-year-old girls like this. And I want to. What am I supposed to make of that? Sorry, I'm paranoid. You must talk on a pizza. You know, potentially having sex. But that is where the breaking the law comes from. Right. Yo, Chris Hansen. <laughs> he read it this whole thing. He's reading like, the messages like. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? <laughs> yeah, what kind of question is that, bro? Do you have that in your car? No. What kind of question is that? What kind of question is he asking? Did you bring condoms? Are they in your car? I, I, I can't. I don't know, bro. These shows, I can't like, do it. You, everybody, mm. obviously, he was, you know, coming there to do something. No, with I understand him. that. So but it's I, like, did you make comments, or were you just trying to go in raw? Like, I, I guess. <laughs> that didn't even sound. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that didn't even sound right. Call me now. I don't. Go ahead, check the car. I guess the condoms will prove know. that he was there to have sex with her. Not necessarily. <clears throat> I mean, well, the text message proved it, but I'm saying, yeah. like, it'll be, like, an additional, like, what's it called, evidence. Never tell anyone about us having sex. Are you sure? Okay, I can be there Saturday afternoon. 
Explain. 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 Well, <clears throat> we should have known he was a lost cause after driving two hours. Not yet. Because, like, if you think about it. You really it, drove two hours to get into this. During those two hours, you didn't really think about what you were doing. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, done this before. At least, let your, you. at least let your conscious. Like, if you have a conscious, it's going to be like, you know what? This is, this wrong. is wrong. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to hit her up. I'm not going to text her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is two not right. Two hours, though. <clears throat> you had two hours to think. And during getting the pizza. And when you was in front of her door. To come back and just. But, like, you know, try to recompose yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a lost cause. Wanted to come <clears> hang out. It looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Okay, is there a, is that against the law to, like... To they have sex with a 13-year-old girl when you're 44? Yes, so it's to against meet, the law. To meet, to meet a girl. That's all I've done. You see how this looks. Okay, but... But but do you also see that... No, there's no justification. There's no justification. There's no justification. Yeah, he don't even know what to say. What like, doing. bro, what? Yeah. But, but do you see? <clears throat> but, but you already know like, you're wrong. You're wrong. Like that's it. You're going to jail. You already Bye. know you're wrong because if you think about it, you're the one talking about. I could go to prison for twenty years. Yeah. So you are automatically know you're wrong. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing. Well, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't anybody be if they're right. going to try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Uh, what, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but... Of course not. I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're, like, you know, law enforcement, but... Do you think I'm law enforcement? Well, I mean, that's what it, it sounds like. <laughs> I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. You had two and a half hours to think about it. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. You had and, two and a half um, hours to think about it. And I, I wasn't going to... I'm not going to risk it. That's that's what I said. What? But you came all the way here with the pizza. Normal for a forty-four-year-old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a thirteen-year-old girl. I want to. Thank you. Hang out, see how she was, see if a thirteen-year-old. What? How often do you? You could have went to the club and found a different girl to hang out with. Never done it. You've never done it. So tonight, you decided. Okay, I'm gonna drive two and a half hours. Down I ninety-five from Boston. Now I ninety-five from Boston. Cool to hang out with. I mean, what the heck? Can't find any. Yeah. Nothing older girls. Yeah. yeah, but I had nothing else going on. So you decided you just come out. Yeah, you can find anybody. You literally. Yeah, you can clearly, you can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about. Well, all let's that. say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you are under sixteen, age of consent, parenthetically, <laughs> nobody can know about it. I just can't take that chance. What it sounds like here is you're grooming her. Mm -hmm. Testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had sex with her, mm -hmm. so no one would find out. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, like I said, when I was on the way down, there's no honest with you, bro. I was thinking about the whole thing, and and even before I left, right, I was thinking I'm not gonna have sex with her unless it's legal. So you talk about a plan to make it legal to marry her. Yeah, That's it. <clears throat> yeah, not like not in two seconds. I mean, like, so if you liked her, like, next week or the week after, you'd marry a 13-year-old no, girl? not next week. No. The fact that so he's saying, after... no, not next week. How about, no, I would never marry a 13-year-old girl? <laughs> you know what I'm also thinking about, though? He really still eating a pizza like that. It's probably the last pizza I'm about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me enjoy this. Let me enjoy this. This is the last pizza I'm about to eat. <laughs> Just a few days worth of chatting, you decide <clears throat> you love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. If you it, want to marry her? What do you mean you don't know? She's 13. I don't know. I was just throwing things out, like, you know, just in case. Or maybe I did like her. Maybe it was, you know. So then you'd marry a 13 year old girl because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. Yeah, turn off this. I don't want to see this one. But... <laughs> after a while. <clears throat> yeah. Well, like three years of dating? I don't know. A romantic courtship? Maybe. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. Where's the cops? Why can't they come out? <laughs> you know, he got to he got to drag a little bit. See this song. See, I, I know. See, I know. I know what you. I know what you're. You're. Well, what? At. What else am I supposed to think, Jeff? Do I, I mean? Do I seem like a like a like a dishonest, dirty person? Yes. <laughs> like Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> I wish I could have said that. <laughs> Is that a Chad, 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 is Chad. Years old. Chad is chat. Chad is chat, but showing up is showing up. And guess yeah. what, Jeff? You showed up. <clears throat> Your pizza. At a home, Two and a half hours. Where you knew a 13-year-old girl would be alone. Mm -hmm. 
after a sexually charged conversation online. Yes. You come in, oh, I want to hug you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm really nervous. Oh, you give me a hug? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, because little girl's yeah. nervous. You yeah, do with everybody. Yeah. You do that every time you meet a 13 year old girl. I, I do it when I meet somebody for the first time. Okay. Hang on. But this somebody is not an adult child. She's 13. Please, please tell me who you are. I'll tell you I'm trying. I'm trying to be nice here. I, okay. You're I, trying to be so nice here? I'm but being nice to you as well, for not. <clears throat> Yo. Just tell me who you are. I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation. <laughs> nah. Uh, I, the way the cameraman just came out, the, like he came mad the, smooth came out the, the dark, dark, bro. He came mad smooth, like, like yeah, he came mad smooth. I'm Chris Hansen. This investigation, you can hear his footsteps. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Yo, he's. Now would be the time to stand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what did he say? Believe it. What my guy said? I think I don't believe this. That would be a good time. I can't believe this. <clears throat> I can't believe this happened. Well, Jeff, believe it. I can't believe this happened. Bro, you thought about this. Come on. What cops say 44-year-old Jeff Sokol did will disgust every parent in America. Bro. <clears throat> In text, he freely talks about marrying a 13-year-old girl. You're almost 14, expletive. You're an adult. As long as you are under 16, age of consent, nobody can know about us. <clears throat> but See? he's not so forthcoming during my confrontation. Did you bring any sort of a marriage contract? No. So what was all that talk about? I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. You can shut it off. Can I shut it off? <clears throat> I mean, what is this? Bro. It's an investigation. And you got caught. Where we investigate. <laughs> you're, you're, you're on TV, bro. Go online <clears throat> and try to create inappropriate illegal relationships with underage children. But in all my years of catching these guys, I've never had an offer like this. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good. Thank you very much. It's from you guys. <clears throat> so the cops there? We'll this guy's lost, bro. Sokol isn't getting <clears throat> seconds. His next meal will be in jail. Come on out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cops grab him. <clears throat> These cops search, are nice, cops bro. Cops find a sex enhancement pill, the kind where you call a doctor if it's still working after four hours. The These cops are trash, so bro. Placed in the back of an unmarked they be in mad nights like, oh, yeah. Bro, I would have, you know, the way they be cheating. Mm -hmm. off to Fairfield, Let me ask Connecticut him. Police <laughs> yeah. But they treat him nice. Sokol is booked, <clears throat> fingerprinted, and poses for a mugshot. Cops read him his rights. He waves his right to remain silent. Like and the really arrogance like he displayed during my confrontation comes out in the police interrogation. Is that all speculation? To me, I mean, it's What's like, the speculation? I'm looking at this. You're, spe like, you're speculating that I was going to have sex with her tonight. Because that's what you said. That's what you said, Did bro. you say that? You didn't say that? Well, tell me what you said. Well, we talked about having sex, but that doesn't mean... Isn't that, that, but isn't that strange? <laughs> it's, that doesn't mean I was going to. Bro. So why are you talking to her about it? What's the deal with the marriage certificate? What was that whole conversation? A marriage uh, agreement or a contract you talked about? They, you're clipped right there, bro. Oh, I was joking at one time when I no, said No, he was not contract. joking, my guy. Was, joke, was there a mention of like bringing some type? Maybe maybe it was in jest, but did you mention bringing some type of marriage <laughs> contract or something like that? No, it wasn't. No, bringing something. No, I was just explaining. To I'm, just her that I'm just over. I'm just over it too. I'm just like okay, but like just signing a contract. Like come on. There, there's no just being said right here. Like I feel like we're going around in circles here. I, like, we already know. They give this guy too much chance. Lock him up. Period. Right. It's kind of. Yeah, kinda, it's, you could you could probably even understand, but yeah, she said she was fourteen. But okay, she was fourteen. It doesn't. It makes a big difference. We're talking mm -hmm. like twelve years old. It's like sixth, seventh grade. You know what I mean? That's a uh, it's a young I human being. Keep saying twelve. Now. Well, you, you want me to use your term and say fourteen? 
And I mean, I know it's the, both young, but it's a little bit, yeah, different. How would it make it okay if you're going to do things with her and she's 13 and it, you ultimately had relations with her it would intercourse? How does it make it legal? It wouldn't unless her mom consented to um, marriage. Bro. <clears throat> it's the only way it would be legal. So you're gonna Can they arrest him? Like, not arrest him. They're just chatting at this point. Maybe when, they maybe, just maybe when she's 16. I would do that. How's that? Why is that like so hard to believe? You're 44. Duh. I mean, seriously, that's a major league problem. But why do you let him talk this much? <clears throat> according to the law, it is. But according to what you, it's not. In my head. In your head, man. Knowing. He's a, now he's, he's switching to the. Therefore, it's a mental issue. <clears throat> that it was not dangerous. That it was not a threat to her. The detective then asked Sokol what he would think if he had a daughter and she was hanging out with a 44 year old I want to see what about to say. <clears throat> Well, obviously, at first, at first, no. At first, yeah. When they first walk in, it's not going to be, it's uh, not going to be cool. But if it was somebody like me, I don't think there's a threat. Sokol posts a quarter million dollars like mail me. and heads home to Beantown without his now cold pizza. I have never, out of 315 or 320 in all the investigations, had anyone ever. Offer me a piece of pepper. He's still stuck on a pizza. <laughs> Sokol was charged with three felony counts. Attempted second degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and enticing a minor by computer. How many is he Fairfield gonna get? Police Chief Gary McNamara tells me Sokol's talk of marriage contract is a way to rationalize his behavior. So they look for ways to justify, and this is just another way of him being creative and, and trying to really justify that. A marriage contract. Well, it, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Could be a marriage contract. Could be a, a an official stamp from <clears throat> from who knows who. It doesn't matter. It is illegal to have sex with children. It's illegal to communicate. You're going to have sex with children. Sokol pleaded not guilty to all the charges and will stand trial. Did we have to anything, man? After a court hearing, he dodged our cameras and ran back inside the courthouse. We saw him sneak out the back door and duck into this restaurant. Wow. So. Can we search up this guy's name before this video is over? What's his name? His what name is Jeffrey Sokol. Do you want to search up right here? Mm-hmm. Because for the fact that they let him free, he's able to go to a restaurant, like nothing happened, it's kind of sickening to me. Jeffrey. His name is Jeffrey um, Sokol. There you go. Outside is so loud. <clears throat> Moving back to the city. It's so loud outside. So if you guys hear a bunch of stuff in the background, please, please, please just ignore it. It is beyond our <clears throat> control. Supposedly, he's on parole. He's about to get out. Or he's supposed to be in out. I don't, I don't know, know why. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say something, but you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. That just, yeah. This is why you got to be with your kids like make sure to watch them like watch what they're doing who they're around like because uh he's here because you never know with this like this mm -hmm. now nah, that was my daughter yo what? he's catching these hands bro what <clears throat> i'm calling all my guys we gonna wait for him don't chat it up with him just like what he was doing but after that there's no smooth talking you getting out oh where's no, the police it's, it's yeah the police is coming for you we about to police you right now like we gonna give you justice nah like nah no questions asked he getting he getting beat up no yeah i don't blame him because <clears throat> he getting more to be i don't know who get beat up i don't care because nah these type of people mm -mm. they're sick i mean i'm surprised they let him go like but whatever well, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though, you know, well, not enjoyed this, but let us know what you guys thought about this video, this episode in the comments down below. Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah. And he's just, he's not with it right yeah. now. Yeah, if that was he's me. He's just tight. Nah. Where you going, babe? <clears throat> yeah, I'm tight. Okay, guys, so I guess, you know, we will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe again, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.